Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're in the city of Venice, which is in Italy, northeastern Italy, and the capital of the Veneto region. The name is derived from the ancient Veneti people, who inhabited the region by the 10th century BC. The city was historically the capital of the Republic of Venice for a millennium and more, from 697 to 1797. Now Venice has been known by so many different names like City of Water, City of Masks, City of Bridges, the Floating City and City of Canals. Venice is one of the most popular destinations in the whole world. The architecture, the artwork, Everything about Italy is amazing. Although Venice is facing some challenges, including an excessive number of tourists and problems caused by pollution, tide peaks and cruise ships sailing too close to buildings, Venice remains the most popular destination in the world, a major cultural center and has been ranked many times as the most beautiful city in the world. It has been described by the Times as one of Europe's most romantic cities and by New York's Times undoubtedly the most beautiful city built by man. The city-state of Venice is considered to have been the first real international financial centre emerging in the 9th century and reaching its greatest prominence in the 14th century. This made Venice a wealthy city throughout most of its history. Venice was the birthplace of Antonio Vivaldi, a great musician and composer, and his influence during his lifetime was widespread across Europe. He composed many instrumental concertos for the violin and a variety of other musical instruments, as well as sacred works of more than 40 operas. His best known work is a series of violin concertos known as the Four Seasons. Venetian Gothic architecture is a term given to Venetian building style that combined the Gothic Lancet arch and the Byzantine and Ottoman influences. Certain architectural styles were necessary in Venice because homes and buildings had to be built above the many, many canals. Although shopping in Venice can be expensive and very touristy, if you look beyond the street vendors, the souvenir shops in the city centre, the city does offer very unique locally produced gems as well. Venice is renowned for craftsmanship whether it's glass or carnival mask, handmade paper, stationery or leather goods. These shops offer some of the very best products from Venice. There are in fact 150 canals running through Venice, which makes the city a collection of tiny islands connected by bridges and walkways. While there are 150 different canals, the biggest and most impressive is the Grand Canal. The canals in Venice are usually one to two meters deep, but there are exceptions. The Canal Grande, Venice's main canal, gets over three meters deep in some points and most canals 
around Venice, or at least 10 meters deep, if not more. The fish market has fresh fish, lots of exotic seafood, artfully arranged on stalls, covered with deep layers of crushed ice. Fishmongers wearing long aprons and gloves work long hours, wrapping up fish and taking orders from customers. The Piazza San Marco is the main square in Venice. It's often known in English as St. Mark's Square. Is a principal public square in Venice. Events and entertainment are held nightly throughout Venice, with people in costumes wandering around the city and reveling. Most high-end hotels hold mass balls during Carnival and may be able to provide rental costumes for visiting guests. Tickets may be expensive and most require reservation. It's very unfortunate that the canals are polluted due to kids, teens throwing junk in the canals and the government doesn't have the funds to clean it up. I hope you enjoy that. Please like and subscribe and take care for now. Peace.